And there you see the outer hatch on the Quest airlock coming open. for say to be a C fill. Scorch, can you please say again the number of that bag? We couldn't quite hear it. Hey, Comrade, that uh, bag is uh, stowed on the uh, fork toolbox. It's 1096. Copy 109 or 6. I guess it's starboard toolbox. The team's here in Mission Control trying to take a look at uh, why we're not getting any wireless video yet from the helmet cams of Satcher and Foreman, so they're going to uh, figure out that issue, and hopefully we will be able to bring that to you here on NASA TV. Excellent work, Mike. You're headed up no two. On my way. Bob, we see you heading aft and over the airlock to uh, S1 Cetus. Air lead along the Cetus bird, please. Copy that. Houston will land us on the big loop, uh, checking to see uh, if these after hits are in place. Hey, you're looking good, Bobby. Thanks, Mike. Atlantis, Houston on the big loop. A firm, comrade, they're in place. Thank you, sir. So now we're getting the helmet cam footage uh, from both Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher. As you take a look at these, you should, should be getting you'll see the number at the lower left, lower right part of your screen. The 16 will be Mike Foreman's helmet. And whenever you see 18 at the lower right hand corner, that will be Bobby Satcher. While Satch is working on that foot restraint, you can see Mike Foreman here inside Atlantis's payload bay as the shuttle passes over the uh, South Atlantic Ocean. He is in the process of beginning to remove this spare S-band antenna structural assembly. You can see Atlantis' payload bay is uh, halfway empty now that the Express Logistics Carrier Number 1 was installed. 
ELC-2 is still sitting back there toward the end uh, of the payload bay. Atlantis, Houston on the big loop. Comrade, the caution on top of 7-17, please. Again, your call, Houston. Yes, sir. Uh, comrade, uh, if you could please uh, read the caution on 7-17. You know how that goes. Copy, Houston. Mike, remember, uh, high gain antenna, low gain antenna, radiator surfaces are, su are subject to contact. Copy that. Thanks, Houston. Bobby Satcher is uh, beginning to make his way over to the station's robotic arm, which you see there on the left. You can see that portable foot restraint that he is uh, dragging with him. Copy, Cal. Good bolts. Good bolts. 39 and change. All right. Good good for the forward long restraint bolts release. Two of them in any order. Expect 12 turns at each bolt. Turn it on the first one. Bobby, if you think we need to take brakes on, just let us know. Right now, they're not on. Yeah, why don't you go brakes on? Put them on now. Right. Satcher will install this foot restraint on the end of the station's robotic arm, and then he's going to get a ride over to Atlantis' payload bay. Bobby, that width adapter is going to go into the PFR socket with the tether point towards the lead. Pip in the fire, not the hitch pin. Hey, uh, Swanee, it's Scorch. I was just curious how, uh, if you guys got a prognosis, how long it's going to take to figure out. Our thought is if we uh, can just bolt this in this position and let them press with some other tasks, come back to it while you guys figure it out, we won't be burning time. I understand. Uh, we'll talk about it real quickly. Thanks, Scorch. Good idea. Okay, uh, thanks. So what do you think if I connect the P3 connector? Can I go ahead and do that? That sounds like a great idea. Let's start with the P3 right now and get that one done. So at one hour and uh, 55 minutes into today's spacewalk, Bobby Satcher and Mike Foreman have wrapped Mike, up uh, the activities the surrounding this S-band antenna features. install. Um, and then on the unmated connectors, don't go ahead and don't remove the connector cap. What was that second one? Do not remove the connector caps on unmated connectors. Copy. And just as a heads up, gentlemen, our planned PET is 3 hours and 15 minutes. I'll see you at about uh, 1 hour and 20 minutes ahead. All right, up on the Zenith side, Mike, you're going to look for the connector panel 6053 for the connector panel there and the free end to the one next door, 6054. Take until the wire ties your captain. Copy that. The next task for Foreman will be the installation of some cables uh, for the space to ground antenna.
camera at the shuttle, Bobby. GMD, you are the highest man off planet right now. I think you're right. Bobby Satcher there getting a one-of-a-kind view of Shuttle Atlantis and the International Space Station as the two pass over the North Atlantic Ocean. And to both of you remember, uh, once Mike teammates that, we may lose the uh, UHF con temporarily with Mike. Bobby, you should be, uh, you may be able to relay for Mike at that point. Atlantis, Houston, Big Lou, Previa. Comrade, besides that thermal cover, can we also get Mike safer handles? A little check there. Get call, Swanee. Hey, safer handles are down. Thanks, Mike. While you're uh, translating, gents, I'll reach you the words of caution on our pass deploy. It's going to be the Nader Outboard Pass. I'm attempting to river install the yoke pit pin and ADP do not impart more than 10 pounds of force. The yoke ADP does not have a stowage hole, so once we pull it out, you don't want to close the uh, ADP lock bracket when the ADP is not inserted in the stowage crevice hole. We'll insert the uh, uh, tong end through the wire tie on the... Um, on the yoke. Hey, call me out of the 3215. Good spot, Mike. And you said go to the outboard. Okay, go ahead and drop your uh, airlock uh, tether on a hand grab and body. You're choosing. I'll go outboard a little further. Sounds good. You just call out your hand real quick. All right, Mike, once you get that uh, airlock coming on. Uh, it's going to be 3217, comrade. 3217. Thanks, Bobby. Continue to look through the view of uh, Mike Foreman's helmet camera. Looking down on the helmet of uh, Bobby Satcher, working on a separate portion of this task to deploy a payload attached system bracket. Okay, complete the first race. Okay, Bobby, uh, same setting, Bravo 6 counter 3, and you, if the you, uh, start on the diagonal brace. Got it.
will be 35 turns, back to speed 37. Mike, while he's doing that, 37. Okay. 35 turns, do not exceed 37. Copy. Mike, you're going to take the small hook of the adjust, the uh, a large, small adjustable, this is the Kulak bag, and put that to handrail 3050. Hey, small hook on 3050. What's that bag? All right, Bobby, uh, illuminatory for you. Okay, uh, Mike has a fast bag, I just have, uh, you know, the DRT, two, two, uh, short line times, one long, and a rat, a workstation, uh, I have the hitch pin and the trash bag, and I've got, uh, Thank you, Mike. 